Okay. Comment by a user called Alex Horvath. Quote. Do you even know what government means? It means to govern your ment. And ment means soul. If someone has to govern your soul for you, I'd say they don't have your best interests at heart. They probably want to take your soul from you. The day we have peace on earth will be the day governments and the people they work for will be abolished. Period. The only means to power is power out of greed. That's never been and never will be good. End quote. All right, first, your grammar is atrocious. I know we all make mistakes. I know it's only YouTube, but come on. Capital letters, full stops in the right places, and such. Yeah, for me, government means a group with the power to govern a country or a state or a particular area, or it means the action or manner of controlling or regulating a state or an organisation. Simple, straightforward definitions there. Now, yeah, how a word came to be can be interesting, like the word government. A compound between ancient Greek and Latin, but whatever. You're talking about soul here, without giving your own definition of what soul means. Maybe you mean the incorporeal, immortal essence of a person. If you do mean that, well, I don't believe in the soul, mate. It's a silly concept to me. I don't believe people have souls. You can't take or govern that which doesn't exist. Or maybe you mean something else when you say soul. I don't know, because you didn't make yourself clear, matey. And I don't think world peace is going to be achieved by abolishing all governments. Which brings me nicely on to the next comment. Which is a comment on the same video. By a user called Donskoy Kazak 1812 Not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Anyway, the user says... Karl Marx said that when the proletariat rose up around the world and when everyone worked together, there would be no need for government. Well, I sell my labour. I'm a minimum wage earner. Yeah, even if we all united all the workers of the world, that doesn't mean things would not need to be regulated. Laws would still be required. A system to uphold the law would still be required, yeah? Okay. What else is in the old inbox, which I neglect to thoroughly check a lot of the time, admittedly? Okay. Comments on one of my older videos, Earth Federation Movement Part 2, by a user called GHC Jackass. Quote, As long as there are two humans on this planet, there will be war. It is human nature. This totalitarianism enviro-terrorist movement is as possible as Hitler's attempt for the same goal. End quote. Yeah, right. Rubbish, Mr. Jackass. Bullshit. If there are merely two people left on the Earth, war is not an inevitability. Maybe these two people have an abundance of resources, maybe they don't. Maybe these two people 
love each other dearly. And they're not interested in living out whatever time they have left at each other's throats, so to speak. They want to live in peace and harmony. No need or desire for any unpleasantness, any armed conflict. Are humans capable of getting along and living in peace? Clearly, we can. We can. And peace is desirable. Doing away with war is not an impossible dream. Anyway, see you later, folks. All the best.